Um, I'm curious, what kind of uh, film do you do? Okay, so I do these um, for hire. I do a lot of corporate, nonprofit videos, commercials, things like that. But my own personal films are, are art house science fiction. Oh, sweet. Things. They're very specific for a very specific type of audience. They're largely influenced by the New York art gallery scene. So they can be tough sometimes to watch. Um, okay. But um, I actually started out wanting to do Hollywood. And, you know, it's always the age of 32, isn't it? The age of 32, I'm like, you know, I'm more interested in the art gallery scene. Everything I've done seems to go back to, like art house age of 32 as you said before and in my 30s i actually quit film went back to school to focus on writing because i was in a in this place where i'm like do i really want to make movies for hollywood so i went back to school i got a ba in cultural studies and then i went on to get an mfa in creative writing and by the time i was done i was like you know what i still want to make movies but not the kind of movies i thought i was going to be making and i ended up just in this weird genre that just amalgamates art house and science fiction. Where That's can I it. find, where can I find um, some of your work? So if you want to watch them for free with ads to be TV, to be TV, it's T U B I TV. That's one of the platforms people go to just to watch them with ads. Um, they're available for rental and purchase on prime video. I think there, there's a bunch of other platforms too, but I don't use them, so I don't push them. But on my website, like I list all of them. <laughs> okay, um, I've gotten to 2B TV. Yeah. So uh, what do I search for? So one of them is called Fractals. And Fractals is the one that I made over the pandemic without a crew because none of the cuz legally we couldn't make a movie <laughs> during the during lockdown. Um, so I didn't have a crew. It was just me and some actors who uh, who basically were in my building for a month. <coughs> okay, that's funny. Um, fractals. Okay, I'm, you... I, I just pulled it up. Let me see if it's – how do I know it's you? All right, what's it look like? Oh, I got it. It's got your name on it. Oh, okay. Okay, and then definitely you. The sister film of that movie, which I did between my BA and my MFA studies, is called Death and Life. But on there, it's under Eric Norcross's Death in Life because there was a, a thing with the title uh, that mm. I don't want to get into because it's all technical. But, uh, okay. yeah, and that's, a, that's sort of like that after my BA, I made this movie, Death in Life. Then I went on to do my MFA. And then during the pandemic, I made Fractals. And that, and that was kind of – both of those films are kind of part of that same academic journey. Um, but now I'm doing a monster movie and that'll oh. probably take another few years. So, <laughs> okay. And again, that's going to be like art house because I'm now kind of like unpacking what a monster is in society, different people's perceptions of what a monster is like mystified by how some people are attracted to certain types of monsters. Like there is actually a sexual attraction to vampires. And then there's also a fetish for werewolves, and I find that very fascinating. So I'm trying to unravel all of that because I can't just make a monster movie. I have to make it hard for myself. <laughs> that, that is exactly what you're supposed to do. I know! I mean, we keep coming back full circle with everything that I put on this checklist here of things I wanted to talk about. <laughs> yeah, it's, you know, you're, you're, as long as you're voluntarily making it hard for yourself, you win. 